spend double, like old beggars under sacks. Knock knee, coughing like hags, we cursed through sludge, till on the hunting flares we turned our backs, and toward our distant rest began to trudge. Men marched asleep. Many had lost their boots, but limped on, bloodshot. All went lame, all blind, drunk with fatigue, deaf even to the hoots of tired, outstripped five nines that dropped behind. Gas, gas, quick boys, an ecstasy of fumbling, fitting the clumsy helmets just in time. But someone still was yelling out and stumbling and floundering like a man in fire or lime. Dim through the misty panes and thick green light, as under a green sea I saw him drown. In all my dreams, before my helpless sight, he lunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. If in some smothering dreams you too could pace behind the wagon that we flung him in and watch the white eyes writhing in his face, his hanging face, like a devil sick of sin. <coughs> if you could hear at every jolt of the blood come gargling from the throat corrupted lungs, obscene as cancer, bitter as the cud of vile, incurable sores on innocent tongues. My friend, you would not tell with such high zest to children ardent for some desperate glory the old lie. Nuci et decorum est, o patria mori. Adieu, la guerre est jolie. Oh God, is in broad jolly. Avec ses chants, ses bons loisirs, with its songs, its leisurely hours. Cette bague, je l'ai polie. This ring I've been polishing. Le vent se mêle à vos soupirs. The wind mingles with your sighs. Adieu, voici le bout de sel. Farewell, I hear the bugle call. Il disparut dans un tournant. He disappeared around the bend. Il mourut là-bas, tandis qu'elle. And died there while she. Riait au destin surprenant. Laughed at the surprising turn of fate. Today, as I rode by, I saw the brown leaves dropping from their tree in a still afternoon. We know when world them whistling to the sky, but thickly, silently, they fell like snowflakes wiping out the noon. And wandered slowly hence, for thinking of a gallant multitude for which now all withering lay, slain by no wind over age or pestilence, but in their beauty strewed, like snowflakes falling on clenched clay. Is there aught you need that my hands would hold? Rich gifts of raiment, or grain, or gold? Lo, I have flung to the east and west, priceless treasures torn from my breast, and yielded the sons of my stricken womb, to the drum beats of the duty, the sabres of doom. Gathered like pearls in the alien graves, silent they sleep by the Persian waves. Scattered like shells on Egyptian sands, they lie with pale brows and brave, broken hands. They are strewn like blossoms mown down by chance on the blood-brown meadows of Flanders and France. Can ye measure the grief of the tears I weep or compass the woe of the watch I keep? Or the pride that thrills through my heart's despair and hope that comfort out the anguish of prayer? And the far, sad, glorious vision I see, torn red banners of victory. When terror and the tumult of hate shall cease, and life be refashioned on anvils of peace, and your love shall offer memorial thanks to the comrades who fought on the dauntless ranks, and you honour the deeds of the dauntless ones. Remember the blood of my martyred sons. Let me lament the exodus of so many men from their time. Let me lament the women whose warbling hearts now scream. 
every lament let me note and add to the list. When young widows sit by lamplight mourning for husbands lost, I hear the blonde voiced children crying for God their father at bedtime. On every mantelpiece stands photographs wreathed with ivy, smiling, true to the past. At every window stands lonely girls whose burning eyes are bright with tears. In every garden lilies are growing as though there's a grave to prepare. In every street the cars are moving more slowly as though to a funeral. In every city of every land you can hear the passing bell. In every heart there's a single plaint. I hear it more clearly every day.